The amphitheater at Plymouth's Pilgrim Memorial Park is finally complete and ready for the summer season. This project has taken years to come together and falls under the state's Department of Conservation and Recreation. It was developed first by Plymouth's Industrial Development Corporation and then connected with the Chamber of Commerce. PCN was at the ribbon cutting ceremony to bring you the story. The project is a great example of uh, state government working with the community, specifically with the uh, Plymouth, Plymouth Chamber of Commerce and the Plymouth Industrial Development Corporation. Uh, to leverage uh, public and private funds uh, to create this rich cultural um, uh, recreational resource uh, that uh, is going to be here for hopefully many, many future generations of residents of Plymouth and, and visitors to this historic place. As Ed said, it's been three years from conception, design, redesign, redesign, redesign. Uh, and, and construction to this beautiful, beautiful day. So and we appreciate all that you have done. Uh, those of you in the Industrial Development Corp, you have made Plymouth a far better place, and we are grateful to you for that. So uh, thank you. But on a beautiful day like today, it just reminds us that there's no better place to be on a lovely summer evening uh, than to be sitting on the Plymouth waterfront and listening to some fine music. One, two, three... Hey. 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 Okay, well, this is really a beautiful day and a great day for Plymouth. The, the beginning of, four, of our 400th celebration, this beautiful amphitheater, the Starlight Amphitheater, uh, is just going to bring so much pleasure to people, not just in Plymouth, because we, have thought, we have, actually have a million people who visit this site every year. And they're going to be able to enjoy it too. But more importantly, the town of Plymouth gets to have this beautiful entertainment space. And by the way, all the concrete here was donated by Boston Sand and Gravel. We neglected to say that when we spoke earlier. but uh, So we're very grateful for that and Ollie DiMacito and helping with that. And very grateful to the Plymouth Industrial Corporation uh, and the state legislature. Uh, we were able to bring the, the last the little bit of money that needed to make this a, a reality. So looking forward to all the entertainment. Uh, music and uh, theater that will be going on right here. This is an exciting day for Plymouth and, and specifically Plymouth's waterfront. Uh, as, as I said earlier, uh, people come from all over the world to come down to Plymouth's waterfront, um, not only for the beautiful ocean, but also they come down here to see the historic, beautiful historic site we have here, the Mayflower and the Plymouth Rock. And it is fitting that instead of having all the shows that we have down here in a show wagon made of metal, to have this beautiful structure here. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the Plymouth Industrial De Development Corporation and Eddie Santos for their commitment to this area because this will clearly enhance the beauty of this area and uh, as we prepare for the 400th celebration of this wonderful community, frankly the founding of this nation, um, it, is, it is wonderful that we can have such a great place for people to come and to gather. So I'm excited and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing these uh, beautiful plays and uh, events on the, on the green. You know, it's great to be here uh, on the eve of the 4th of July, uh, where the uh, real orange, origins of our uh, nation's birthplace are here at uh, Pilgrim Memorial. And uh, we're just uh, so thrilled and proud to have been able to partner uh, with the Chamber of Commerce here in Plymouth and the Industrial Corp uh, to uh, be able to provide a, a great uh, facility that's going to hopefully serve generations of uh, Plymouth residents and visitors uh, in the years to come. On behalf of the board, I'd really like to thank the DCR, Ed Santos, and our legislative delegation for putting this beautiful pavilion together. Every hundred years, this town re redoes its waterfront, usually in conjunction with the 100th anniversary of the landing of the Pilgrims. And we're coming up on 2020, which is going to be the 400th anniversary. This really is an important part of that um, uh, great transformation. There isn't a better place to be on a sunny, sunny uh, summer evening or sunny sunny a summer afternoon than the Plymouth waterfront listening to a concert. Public entertainment is an important part of the Plymouth experience and we're very, very happy to have this pavilion which will enhance the experience for all Plymouthians and for our visitors from out of town. This is a great day. It's a great success for PIDC to have been able to donate this particular structure to the town of Plymouth as well as the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and hopefully this will provide many, many, many years and hours of great pleasure to everyone in the community.
It's a pleasure to be here. This is an exciting event, um, both for Plymouth and for the Chamber. It's been a long time coming, and it's finally here. We've now handed it off to the state, and uh, they're going to take care of it. And there's going to be a lot of fun down here and happenings. The concerts down here are awesome, and uh, this facility is a lot better. It's a big improvement over that showmobile. We have been waiting for this stage for 20 years, and we are so excited to have it. We had actually the first show on this stage that uh, that's happened since it got occupancy, which was last Wednesday. The sound in front of the stage is amazing, and uh, the view is, is spectacular. Um, if anybody's looking for a great spot on the waterfront in Plymouth to see a show, this is it.